Good morning. Uh, Montgomery County Commissioner Joe Hoffel, former U.S. Senate candidate in 2004. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. How are you today, John? Good, good. Uh, what, what were your reactions with Senator Specter coming to Montgomery County recently? Well, it was pretty interesting. Uh, he came and spoke to a uh, leadership uh, meeting that our county chairman, Marcel Groen, pulled together. And it, it's a little disorienting. Uh, to have Senator Specter uh, so avidly seeking Democratic support. Uh, he said at the meeting that he uh, wanted to help our candidates come to our fundraisers, help our candidates raise money. And of course he's been helping the other team do that for the last 30 years. Uh, so it, uh, it, it's, it's an interesting thing. It, it's very difficult to switch parties. Usually the party you leave gets mad at you and the party you join never fully trusts you. Now, in, in the senator's case, the party he's leaving seems pretty glad that he's, that he's gone. So uh, Arlen's kind of a unique situation all the way around. My concern is that he's been uh, such a loyal supporter of George Bush. Uh, my objections are about the, the policy questions. Personally, you know, he's a bright and honest and hardworking man and lots of admirable things and, uh, and, and good qualities that you, you can point out about Arlen Specter. But his uh, enabling of the Bush legislative agenda is something I have a hard time forgetting. Uh, and I, I think that uh, he needs to try to explain that if it's possible to do so. And that is why you actually were the Democratic candidate against him in 2004. How awkward would it be for you next year if he's now the Democratic nominee and you have to support him? Well, it wouldn't be awkward. It, it would be strange. But for example, if Arlen's the Democratic nominee and Pat Toomey is the Republican nominee, no problem, uh, because on the issues, uh, I would be uh, far, far closer to where Arlen Specter has been throughout his career. He's been a moderate to liberal Republican, and uh, I'm a moderate to liberal Democrat. Uh, so I have a lot of areas where I agree with him uh, on specific issues. Uh, so it would be no difficulty in the general election supporting him. It would be strange, uh, but no difficulty. And I would want him to be my senator come 2011 rather than Pat Toomey. So that would be an easy choice. But in the primary, it's a different matter. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see a Democrat uh, be nominated uh, that has been a true Democrat through the years, who stood up to Bush, who's got a, a solid pro-labor voting record. Senator Specter likes to talk about his labor record, which is about 60% uh, voting on the AFL-CIO scorecard. Uh, but as Bill George, the labor chair, said, 60% is very good for a Republican, but it's very bad for a Democrat. Uh, and I think that uh, I'd like to see the party nominate a true progressive for the Senate. Uh, you mentioned the AFL-CIO. That endorsement was very key in 2004 when it went to your opponent, Arlen Specter. Uh, which way do you feel the AFL-CIO leaning this time? Well, because he's now a Democrat, I think they will demand more of him. Uh, he won endorsement in 04 because he was the best Republican senator on labor issues. And they didn't want to lose that in the, in the Republican caucus. And I didn't like the decision, but I understood the decision back in 04. Uh, today, it's totally different. He's now in the Democratic Party, and they're going to hold him to a higher standard. I think if he votes the wrong way on car check, uh, I think Labor will not support him. Oh, well, thank you very much. All right, John. Thank you. Okay.